Welcome back everybody. Today we're going over this plate carrier that you see right here from AWS. Uh, they are a military contracting company. They make a ton of stuff for our troops. They really haven't made much of a dent in the civilian market and uh, they do offer their products to the civilian market. So what we're going to do here is just keep doing some shooting with this uh, plate carrier that you see here. Incidentally these mag uh, pouches are made by them as well and we'll probably talk about that but we'll keep doing some shooting. Step inside and uh, talk about really what I think of this plate here. I think it's kind of a, uh, a hidden secret, if you will, that's probably about to get out with this video, but out there in terms of value for what you get for your money. But right now, we're gonna do a little drag test, see how it holds up, then step inside. After the drag test, I basically just hit the dust off of my hands a few times, and this is what I saw. As you can see here, there's no damage at all to the fabric. It's not fraying. Take a look here at the drag handle. You'll see the stitching is still looking great while we're at it. I guess you'll take a note of that stitching. Heavy reinforcements all around these triangular areas here, as well as stitching all the way down the sides. Um, this drag handle, you can no doubt about it, you could drag a dude in a lot of gear and not have to worry about that coming loose. So that's, that's definitely a good thing. But the reason that there's no fraying here after that test, which is obviously a gravel road, pretty pretty rough conditions, is that this is made out of 1,000 uh, denier Cordera, and that's uh, urethane coated as well. So for those of you guys that are familiar with the mil spec uh, gear and fabrics, basically most of them are gonna be either 500 or 1,000, and the 1,000 being the heavier, stronger of the two. So that's, that's what you have here. It's not extremely heavy though, I shouldn't say that, but it's a heavier weight material, if you will. So just keep that in mind. And the urethane coating on there is also gonna resist water and dampness from getting inside to include um, the plates as well as the person wearing it. It's also gonna provide a little bit of water protection as well. Moving over to the front of the plate carrier, you can see here up front, we do have this large pouch. You can put documents in there, whatever you want, and uh, have relatively easy access to it. I've seen these referred to as map pouches or leader's pouches in the past. But you can go down in there and put whatever you want to have in there that you can have uh, easy access to, you can do that. And it gets uh, kind of covered up there with the hook and loop tape, so that way it's relatively sealed off. Moving up top here, you'll notice it does have the Velcro for adding flags, name name tapes, um, IR patches, whatever the case, call sign patches, whatever you want to put on there, you can do that. There's also the same thing on the inside, both front and back. If you want to run extra stuff in there, maybe note cards, things that you want to have access to, but you don't want to display to the outside world, that's an option as well. Looking up on the sides here, you'll notice these loops. So that way if you're running antennas, uh, maybe hydration loops along the edge there, you can keep them nice and tucked in and that way they're not flopping everywhere. One thing that's extremely nice about this design here, and we'll open it up here just to kind of show you how that works while we're doing that. I'll turn it sideways so we can get it on camera is the way you access uh, these pouches in your cummerbund. You don't have to do that, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open it up so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. As you pull this tab up like that, and you'll notice very heavy industrial strength uh, hook and loop tape there, or Velcro for people who have never been in the military. If you pull these off, your cummerbund out, and I'll pull it out next and take a look at it. I was just talking about stowing away your antenna, and one thing that's awesome about this design of this cummerbund here that I wanted to show you is these integral uh, pockets are there and there are pouches I should say so if you take a look at it from the outside like we have here you can see that you can fit anything in there it's designed to be able to fit an embedded radio or a Harris radio for those of you guys that are familiar with it maybe you law enforcement guys you can put a Motorola in there as well it'll all fit just fine but you just pop that off put your radio down in there and you can see I mean there's a good bit my whole hand is fitting in there good bit of room in there most civilian folks out there are probably going to use it for this, re this purpose right here, which is to put some mags in there, and you absolutely can do that. You can fit two mags in there, no problem. AR mags or AK-74 mags or similarly sized mags. You put that in, come back over the top, and snap it down, and secure it with your antennas coming up there to secure it down. Many of you guys are aware of that. Now, also on the cummerbund, it will accept both hard and soft plates. I've been running it with soft plates in the video. As many of you guys can see, there's also a pouch back here. If you want to put anything in there, you can do that. But to access where you want to put your plates, it's up here. And this part just comes out. Put your plates in. This is just some soft plates, for example. And that's what I was using. But just take a look at how this is designed. So you see your hook and loop tape here, as well as 
secure on the inside. So when that secures down, when you put your plate in there, if you're gonna use a hard plate, it's especially important. Obviously the soft plate's not quite as big of a deal. When you go ahead and put this back down, that hook and loop tape engages positively, holds it in place, and it ain't going anywhere. The front and back will also accept both hard and soft armor inserts. Now as you see here, you can probably tell from the video that I've been running it with hard armor inserts in there. To access that, it has another really good system in there. If you look up under here, you'll notice that this tab is hanging down. That They call that a quick release tab. Now, if you yank on it, it's secured by hook and loop tape. It's extremely secure. I mean, you really got to rip on it. But if you pull on it hard, like I just did there to get it out, that will expose where the plate is. And they accept uh, the actual standard size plates as well. So if you have like an e-sappy or sappy plates and you're a size large plate, that's what this will fit. This is a size large. As you can see here, we have a size large plate. Fits in there just fine. Put it back in. Just slide it back up in there until it's all the way up there on the top, as you see here. And at this point, when you secure it down, you just want to make sure that you get this high up in there because you want that plate to ride high. That's how it's designed to be worn there. And get it so it slides high up in there. And then you can see the opposing side of hook and loop tape in there. Push it down, and you're back secured. The shoulder pads on here are adjustable, and to adjust it, you just adjust it back here on the rear. This is the back side, this is the front to orient you guys. And um, once you adjust it down, you just, again, secure your hook and loop tape under here. Secure it down, and there's just no way that's going to move. So once you set it, it's going to be good. And uh, you can see here, we have some padding, which is the part that actually sits on your shoulder, which is always nice. And that secures, again, through Velcro tape, because there is Velcro on the bottom here, as you see. And you set it up very quick to put back on there. Again, secure it down tight. And that's all there is to it. Extremely, extremely solid system. And it's nice and comfortable when you're wearing that plate for extended periods of time. Since I hinted at it earlier in the video, I guess I got to cover these mag pouches as well if they make. But you can take a look here and see that these are obviously PALs or MOLLE compatible uh, to weave them in and out, as is the webbing here as well. I didn't know if I mentioned that yet, but it is the same. So there's two spec and you can weave these in and out. Here's the pistol mag. Uh, pouch that you see here sort of universal you can put anything in there and uh, depending on how large it is this is obviously a Glock 21 magazine as we see here and you put it in there and if you want to tighten it down and increase the retention on there you just pull this out tighten it down and you can see it ain't going anywhere even though we have a fully loaded 13 round 45 round magazine here for the rifle pouches that you've seen uh, I believe you guys have seen the 74s and AR mags in here same thing so if you want to tighten down the retention there this one with two mags it's kind of pushing it but these are loaded magazines as you can see and uh, if you want to go like say single mag you just pull this out you move that mag out of there and see at this point it's gonna fall out however if you pull the tab down and cinch it down so that way you have your one mag and it's tighter in there and it ain't going anywhere. Again, uh, Molly and Pals compatible to weave it in there onto your system. So very cool little mag pouches that they make as well. Definitely a fan. As I mentioned earlier, AWS does a lot of military contract stuff, and this actually, I believe this design started out as a military contract, but for those of you that follow me over on my Facebook page, you guys saw that I posted this and asked a lot of the veterans out there if they had any impressions of the gear they received from AWS while they were in service. And uh, literally every single comment I got back about it was positive. So. It sort of mirrors my own uh, experience here with this plate carrier. Really don't have a lot to say about it, a lot bad to say about it, I should say. Um, for $150, you can look around and find plate carriers that are spec very similarly to this and somewhat designed similarly, and they're gonna be generally priced $350 to $450 just for the carriers out there. And to think that this sucker comes to market at $150, uh, it's in three colors, by the way, while I think about that, so it's in the multi-cam coyote in black. And for $150, bucks, with the quality you get in terms of material stitching, and it's made here in the USA, veteran-owned company. I mean, I don't have a lot bad to say about it, guys. It's a great product, and the price is great as well. So if you have any questions about this plate care or anything else to talk about here on the channel, you can always post below in the comments section. You can post over at my Facebook page as well. But thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.